Hey everyone, I hope you are on the trail or on the road, but when you get back, you can watch this video. We are going to take this drill and we are going to drill into a perfectly good BFG KM2 mud terrain tire. These tires are extremely tough, but they do get punctured. And one of the first things you gotta know is how to use a basic field tire repair kit. So we're gonna take a better look at this and then we'll go ahead and repair a tire. Let's get started. All right, let's take a look at this kit. What do we have inside here? You can use any kit, many kits available on the market. I really like this one because it has the basics and it's very heavy duty. When you look at the components, you know you're gonna get years of use out of this. So let's take a look at this just one by one. We'll go through it fairly quickly um, and tell you what these are, the various things are for. Now, once you have your tire repaired and you're airing it back up to pressure, you're gonna need a tire gauge to get you close. The one thing I wanna say is that when you're out in the field and you got a flat tire, it's all about getting you back to civilization or getting you where you need to be. So you're just trying to get the job done. Now, realistically, do you need a tire pressure gauge to get the job done? No, you don't. But if you want proper tire pressure and you're doing a long-term repair, you do wanna run the, the proper pressure. Okay, first and foremost, once you locate the hole, this is the reamer. Um, this is grease to make cleaning out the hole a little bit more easy. The reamer spreads apart the steel, uh, steel belts in the tire so that you can use the actual plug tool. So you ream that out, we'll see that in just a second, okay? Now these are various components to your tire. Sometimes you have to replace the valve stem. This is a valve stem tool, a valve stem removal tool. Uh, if you need to take the tire off the rim for whatever reason, you wanna take the stem out and air, air it all the way down. Most of the time you're not gonna to need to use this, but it's nice to have these spare components if you need them. This is the actual plug tool. You put the rope in the tool and you plunge that into the tire to make the repair. That's just about it. It's pretty straightforward, pretty basic, and all you need for small tire repair. Now, these are just utilities for maintaining these tools. If, you get, if you're getting so much use out of these tools that you need to replace the end, uh, you might wanna look into getting a different brand of tire, but <laughs> eventually these parts may break or wear out and that's what these Allen wrenches are for, to take these out so you only have to replace this instead of buying a whole new, new tool. All right, that's it. Now let's get to making a hole and repairing a tire. Okay, now I've basically set up a laboratory environment here. It's not gonna be like this when you're out on the trail. It's gonna be messy and it's not gonna be ideal. Now with this kind of a repair, you wanna do it with air in the tire if you can. So if you're going down the, the trail and you hear the puncture and you hear the air, you wanna move relatively quickly. As that hole goes around, you're gonna hear a sound. It's gonna sound like something like that. When you can really hear the air, that's when you wanna stop because you know that it's not gonna be buried against the ground or the mud. It's gonna be open and then you use the sound to, to locate the actual hole, ideally, if it's not a slow leak, right? Now, also, ideally, you have your trail repair kit someplace where you can reach it relatively quickly. That way, it's there when you need it. When you find the hole, you wanna cover the hole with your finger to keep the air from coming out. And then, move quickly with your tire repair kit to repair the hole while there's air still in the tire. Let's take a look at how that's done. Hope for the best. All right, <laughs> there's the hole. Okay, so now once you locate the hole, you wanna take this reamer, it's the spiky one without a hole in the end, and again, you're gonna put some grease on it to make it easier to bore out this hole. Now, if the hole's too small, then when you try and put that repair rope in or when you try and you know, ram that needle in, it's gonna be super, super hard. So you wanna bore this out, again, this tool spreads out the belts and the tire to allow you to get that repair rope in, all right? So now that's what we're gonna do. You're gonna hear it, you'll hear it crunch. Oh yeah, there we go. And work it in and out of there a few times. 
because this reamer is, is the right size for that repair rope. And again, if you don't get the hole stretched out a little bit, then you're not gonna be able to get that repair rope in there. Now, I'm gonna leave this in just like that so that I can thread the repair rope on this tool, which is the, the needle. Sorry about the focus, but you kind of get the idea. All right, now let's take this repair rope. And it's a little bit tricky to get on to this tool because it's gummy. You can't really shove it down in the end here. You gotta thread it through just like a needle and thread, but your thread is soaked in tar. <laughs> so it is a little bit tricky, but you just keep working it. And eventually, eventually, there we go. You're gonna be able to pull it through the eye of the needle, just like that. You wanna go about halfway. Okay, here we go. When you, when you put the rope in, you shove it in and then this holds the rope against the tire so it doesn't pull out. And you pull it out like that, okay? So here we go. Stay. All right. rope still showing and that's what I want. I want a little bit of that rope still showing. There we go. Just like that. All right now we want to clean that up a little bit. But be careful with this operation, you know? Um, you don't want to cut it too close. And the fact of the matter is, it's going to wear down as you go down the road. You're not making a piece of art, you're trying to get yourself back home. So that's all that's required. Now, when you make a repair like that, you'll air up your tire and then you'll watch it. You'll pull over every once in a while and um, make sure that that repair is still holding. All right, now that repair is a temporary repair. You should take your tire into a professional tire shop to get it repaired or replaced. But that repair is gonna get you where you need to be and that's the important thing. A quick reminder, there are thousands of Overland Bound members worldwide, probably some close to you. So if you're looking to join a community of Overlanders who believe that overlanding is vehicle dependent travel, that is it, and it doesn't matter what you drive, consider joining Overland Bound. When you get your emblem, your badge with your number on it, that really helps us out, helps us make more videos like this, and you should head over to the forums because the forums, they will roll out the welcome wagon for you. It doesn't matter what your level of experience is. There are no ads ever on our forums. There never will be. We believe you need free access to information to make outfitting and exploring as easy as possible. Come on over and say hi. Look forward to seeing you on the trail.